<laughs> all right what's going on guys welcome back to another episode of arc scorch earth ascended um i've been sitting here for a few minutes trying to figure out where that cryopod change was and i i don't see it in the settings i know last episode people were saying like oh if you wanted to change the cryopods to normal you could in the settings and i don't see it so have any of you guys know where that's at by chance because it's not in advanced it's not in any of these that i've seen i checked world settings pvp um pve But yeah, I didn't, I didn't see it. Oh, it's an I and I file change. It's not like an actual setting. Uh, if it, then I ain't too worried about it. It is what it is. If it's not something that you can actually just change, then... Because I already have PvP mode on... All right, let me see. Yeah. Settings are so much different than they used to be. Oh, we were looking to make the cryopods so we don't have to be within the certain range of the cryo fridge. Uh, in order to, like, use the cryopods. So, but uh, I don't know. People said that it was a setting. But I don't see the actual setting anywhere to, like, change that. But if it's like an I and I thing, then we're not going to be able to do that right now. How's everybody doing today, though? I appreciate you guys coming. I know we're just taking a few seconds to get going here. I was just trying to see if uh, there was an actual setting in the menus here that we could tweak in order to get uh, normal cryopod. Is there a... I, mean, I, don't, I haven't looked at the mods in forever. Is there a mod that you can get that just undoes the... that does it for you? Instead of having to change, like, the I and I? Ryan, what's going on? I don't want one that's broke. I just want one that just makes the crowd pods normal. Configurable cryopods. What does this do? Um, It's separate from regular cryopods. Uh, okay. So, what you just build this thing and build the cryopods themselves? Yeah, it's got quite a few installs. Half a million is not anything to freaking mess around with, dude. <clears throat> All right, as, I mean, this seems simple enough. It's literally just another cryopod um, that we'll have to craft. All right, let's get in here.
Yeah, it seems like a pretty easy I and I to drop in. I just I just don't want to mess with it right now because obviously we're trying to get the stream underway. But we'll we'll get it. We'll get it. I'll, I'll try out this mod to see how that works. Um, let me uh, get situated here really quick. Got a Thylus saddle. I will keep one of these on me to get the. Go ahead and team tracker. How do I show the ones that are in progress taming? There we go. Team's in progress. Got those two showing again. All right, we're good to go. We got some, let's see if there's any red drops in the area coming down, nothing. We got a double loop purple coming down over there though that we could go get. <laughs> really? All right, so let me check out this cryopod business really quick. Oh, I got a damn it! I didn't install the. I forgot when you when you when you get a mod, you have to like enable it. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't activate the mod. So we go mods. Uh, oh, here we go. I took off a lot of the mods that I had on before. Here it is. Activate. And now we should be good. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I didn't activate it. Whatever, chat. It is what it is. I never claim to be good at this game. There it is. So we need the... Oh, so can you store vanilla and the other one? Cryo rifle. Yeah, we're not, we're not using anything like that. Just the pods, guys. Does sound cool, but so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna get this uh, some of these cryopods done up. I should have enough resources left over from our first ship to do at least one or two. We're gonna go find out right now. Oh, it's crafted at the smithy? Oh, so you don't got to go to a... Uh, a, a, a uh, whatchamacallit? An obelisk? Okay. Well, good thing somebody said something before I fucking made my journey all the way across the damn planet, right? <laughs> yeah. I appreciate everybody for coming out and hanging out, though, today. I hope everybody's having a good day. Good day and night. I just got done recording some more State of Decay. Oh, here we go. So we need oil and polymer.
I don't have any extra oil right now. Uh, I do got my oil uh, pumps that we, my, my, uh, that we can go ahead. But that's pretty... At that point, let's just freaking grab the resources out of uh, the green obby too that we left in there. And we'll check on my tames. So yeah, I feel like we're gonna be in a good spot once we get these. Uh, once we get these thylas, get them bred. I, I feel like uh, we'll, we'll be in a good spot once we get a, a nice imprinted thyla with this monstrous saddle. Then we're gonna go hit the dunes, chat. We're gonna go hit the dunes. We shouldn't have anything to worry about at that point, especially if we can get. Uh, Another dino and a cryopod, something big, maybe like a rex or something like that. We can actually go out and get some rexes while we're out in the dunes. I love the kangaroo. It's actually one of my favorite tames now. It's, I, I definitely understand the hype behind it and like why so many people are like the roo. At first, I didn't get it. Um, but once you are on one, you know, this thing is, it's a monster. It's so good. Did it look frozen, chat? <laughs> I couldn't breathe. Game froze, guys. Game froze. Yeah, the game locked up on us. I don't know where that's going to roll us back to. <laughs> it came to where having fun. The only thing is when you respawn in and you were mounted, I think it's going to literally... Have me not on. <laughs> Close. Oh, we're good. I was like, I hope the mount is near me, dude. <laughs> That's all that matters. I got the auto save mod, so um, the game saves like every minute, so we don't got to worry about rollbacks like that. I actually got some of you guys with the freeze. It's harder than it looks, man. Cause you gotta lock it up the second the game locks up. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta know that the game is frozen, and you gotta just kind of freeze in place. It's, it's tough. Then your eyeballs start burning. Make sure there's no capros here. Are we good? I think we're okay. We had very little oil. Gordon, yeah, yeah. If you're not caught up, man, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely go check out the because you might, you might see some stuff that you don't want to see yet. But I appreciate you for coming and hanging out. The, the ruse are good, guys. They really are. Um, Batman Arkham Asylum. Yeah, we finished Batman Arkham. The only Batman game we didn't completely finish, I was like five minutes short of finishing the game, was Arkham City. <laughs> because unfortunately, I didn't know that, uh... Oh, fuck. 
I didn't know that the game um, was almost over and I had ended the stream or ended the video. I only had about five minutes left of gameplay, so. Oh, so let me see here. Where the hell is that other Thyla? I didn't mark it. Okay, so we're gonna get out of render here. I don't want nothing to mess with my tame, so we're just gonna go. Uh, that one we will have to bury up here soon. But I'm gonna hit my oil spot should be right here right there it is that was it yeah, that no wonder how many you gotta definitely have a lot of those there's a there's a few different spots so we got to get some more pumps done up so we i thought that thing was going to produce way more oil than that only nine Yeah, you definitely gotta have one. Chat, how, how does how does oil rigs work in PvE environments? Because if you have them all over the map, because obviously unless players build their bases near them, but if you have an oil rig, like can anybody just come and take your shit? Like your oil from the rig? Uh, if you log off, it does not keep the oil from the... Oh, shit. I did not know that, Brumag. Wow, uh, those are actually pretty good boots there. That's a good blueprint. How much was that? Only... Yo, that's really cheap, guys. I'm going to craft those when we get back. 125 compared to for heat compared to the ones no mine are ascended no this so for heat resistance the higher the number the better right so these are 109 right heat resistance these ones are only 97 like granted they have more armor in their ascendant the durability is higher so that but the higher so these these mastercraft have better heat resistance right or is it the lower the number, the better? Higher the better? Okay, then. Yeah, so those Mastercraft ones are technically better for the, the heat compared to the other ones. We need to get some more cooked prime meat, actually, for those, uh, for that other Thyla. So right now we got a bunch of regular cooked meat. That thing's going to take ages to tame like that, so. We've got, we've got to try to get our hands on some cooked prime. What is that? It's a stick and stone emoji. Uh, Mr. October. All right, nighttime's gonna be setting in here soon. Yeah, hopefully we get some more oil out of that later. Um, I didn't know that it empties when you when you log off and log back on.
update on. I didn't even know there was Daydons on this map. Oh, no, no, I do remember, actually. Over near Blue Obelisk, there was, I think there was Daydons over there when I lived on this map before. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and craft up two of those bad boys. And we'll be in good shape. Let me see. I don't think I have any prime meat here. But we do got some cooked prime here. Okay, never mind. We're, we're all right, guys. We got some cooked prime already that we can put in the other thyla. Um, oh, nice. So the one is done. We'll get that. And I'm going to grab whatever food was left over on it. And uh, we'll go transfer everything over to the other thyla. But we're not going to wait around for that one to tame. That one's going to take a bit. Uh, the Cook Prime will, will hopefully speed things up a little bit, but I don't think we'll be able to get our uh, that thyla completely done. Probably until like the end of the episode. I don't know. Maybe it'll be a little faster than that. Who knows? Uh, Lilo with the huge super chat, man. Thank you so much. Uh... I had your other stream on uh, in the background. I was hearing you talk about breaking records. I was like, what, again? Just realized it wasn't live, so let's... <laughs> Seriously, Lilo, I appreciate the love. Nah, you guys, you guys absolutely shredded when it came to support that, that stream. Like, to the point where YouTube messaged me. It was like, yo, what's going on? How you doing? Uh, your community is awesome. It's not a T-Rex. This is a kangaroo, man. Look, it's a kangaroo. Let's go ahead. Okay. Let's see. How did how did its stats come out, guys? Let me check its stats here. Hundred percent melee, guys. Fifty four hundred health. I feel like that's pretty good. Four hundred percent melee. Let 
we didn't need any of that, right? Nope. Okay, we'll take the hide and that. The rest is bad for base stats? You guys think that's bad? That's 5k health. This one, we don't really got to worry about the safety of it too much because we got it in here. See, like this one is only 165. It does have higher health, so we'll probably be able to get more health out of this one for sure. Um, but yeah, there we go. So we got plenty of prime meat. Bury this bad boy up a little bit. Should be good for a while. Oh. It literally almost woke up. The tame timer must have been off or something. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, see, the torp's going back up now, so. Grab this drop here real quick. The thing just attacked me? Ooh, wow, that thing actually hits. Is that torp or poison? And they don't take a whole lot of knockback either. What's a level 140? I'm like, yo, this thing is got some health, man. That thing had some health, dude. Ender, what's going on? How you been? I got to catch up with the streams. Uh, this map is brutal. Yo, it, it is definitely brutal, man. It is definitely brutal. Uh, but it's a good time. It, it really is. I, I've been really enjoying it. So that one is going decent. Like I said, I'm, I'm just before we leave the area, I want to ensure that um that the torp's gonna be good they're good wood gatherers Still going up. I'm gonna put some more berries in here. Love the way the berries stack. Torp. 
So I'm hoping that's enough to get it back up to at least half. Uh, anything in the area that looks worth grabbing? Not really. Right, I'm scared if I leave, though. This thing's gonna... Oh, no, no. We should be okay, right, guys? Should be fine. Trying to catch up on the streams. Hey, I appreciate you guys though, man. I, I know we've been uh there's been a lot of content, a lot of different content too on the channel. So I know for people who try to watch everything I do, it's probably been an actual nightmare. But I'm hoping that for the people that only watch select things, that the uh you know the selection's been nice and varied. That was my main goal, was trying to get it so you guys had uh a nice variety of options, you know. Tame. Yeah, I, I would love to try to tame one of those new dinos on the map. Yeah, that's definitely goals. Um, once our Thyla is good, I, I'll, I'll feel I'll feel good. You know what I mean? Because the Thyla has tons of health. Um, it's fast. It, it, I can tame from on, on top of the Thyla. So if we're out in the dunes or whatever, we could tame. Uh, so we'll be in good shape. Like I could easily tame a Rex from the back of a Thyla. Um, I don't know what was going to be required to tame that other dino. We're going to have to figure that one out. But Okay, that Torp is still going up good. Just got to keep an eye on it. What game have I been enjoying the most recently? Um, it was. It's been really fun to. Get, it was really fun to get back into like Horizon. Like I said, I love those like open world story games. Like those are kind of like my jam. Uh, out of like every game type, those are probably my favorite. And that was that was really fun to get into. You can put a cart on a Thyla? That, that's ridiculous, dude. Okay, so let's get all this stuff stored up real quick. So we need these red berries for heal potions. Now, this thing is super inconvenient to, like, make anything in. Let me see. What do we need for the industrial cooker? quite expensive. Eighteen hundred metal. to come nowhere as close to that dude not right now at least even if i start breaking some more stuff down that we have i got this monstrous set of freaking armor here chat like this set here is probably getting uh, along the lines of the set we had when we were on uh aberration i had a really insane set of armor I don't even know when I'd be able to wear this. 
I was thinking about wearing it in the Manicore fight, but I don't think it will matter. So I'm wondering if we should just break this shit down. So I don't even know when we'd be able to wear this and not just die. Now the heat resistance on it is gar uh, dog shit. I guess we could like weave parts of it in, but I think we should probably just break it. I mean, it's like I, w I wouldn't mind sending it back to the island, you know what I mean? But I don't think you can send gear like that anymore. I, w I wouldn't mind sending it back to the island, though. Or even like this riot gear, like this would be good to send back to. That Rex blueprint, it's too expensive, but. Oh, you can still transfer items? Oof. Cause we gotta, we eventually gotta go and finish the island at some point. So it's like, scrap it now? Well, let me see how much we get from this, these gloves, if we scrap these gloves. From that, so I don't even know if that's gonna be worth scrapping, you know what I mean? Uh, we got this forge here, so we can honestly start doing some metal runs. Obviously, not the most interesting thing in the world, but uh, I figure like we just get a small run in right now. Metal, dude. I haven't even seen any really. I don't want to jinx it, guys, but we've been playing for 30 minutes and we haven't had a storm yet. That that's a big deal. Yeah, we're gonna. Uh, that was the goal. Uh, I wanted to hit the dunes uh, once our thylas are done. Um, which, well, that one's actually gonna be done a little bit sooner than I thought. Once our thylas are done, we're gonna get a quick breed in, um, which shouldn't take too long. Get an imprinted thyla because my breeding settings are, are, are should be. It shouldn't take too long. I, I don't think it's, maybe it might take forever, but who knows? Well, we're gonna try at least. But, um, and then once we got an imprinted thylet. Yeah. Um, once we have an imprinted thylet, we'll be, we'll be in good shape. Just trying to see if there's any metal around here. Drop quality setting. I think it's 
gents. I think that's what we bumped it up to from uh, the island. Because, yeah, when I was checking my drop quality before, I thought it... I, I thought I changed it to like four or five or something, but when I checked and I was like 1.5. Because uh, we started getting those that gear that was wicked, wicked high level, and I was like, man, is my drop quality is it is it up to like five or something? Because I, I really thought it was like, but no, I, yeah, it was it was it wasn't high at all. A couple, that's it. Yeah. the avoidance like it's got some awesome night knockback but it doesn't have a whole lot of damage so when you're fighting shit like that's high level like this man it's take forever to kill these dudes obviously i can bust out the thyla and probably shred these dudes yeah thyla's tap torp is, is still still going up i loaded it with about 700 freaking berry berries so I'm gonna bring out the Thylex. These dudes are gonna be annoying as shit. I was actually, I'm not going to dump any stats into this one because I want to make sure I'm tracking the uh, the base stats on these. So we're not going to put throw any levels in this one. This is going to be our breeders. Level 140 scorpions. out real quick. Why, why you go up there, dude? Come on. Stop it. So yeah, this thing can hold a ton, man. Yo, the, the Rue is so good. Again, yeah, no, I mean, I thought about getting an RG, right? So that was I was like, oh man, maybe I'll get an RG. Uh but the Rue it, it, the thing about flying in this game is I, I don't have an issue with flying, right? But I do feel like once you do gain flight, you, you it's like any game. I, I feel like you gain flying and then it, it's kind of you just that's all you ever do. You don't you're never on the ground. You you miss a lot of things because you're so high up and you're kind of just really focused on where you're going. Um, 
So I don't mind... Uh, I don't mind being grounded, and I feel like the Rue is honestly faster than the the RG, even in the air, because we just get to jump everywhere, and it still has monstrous carrying capacity. Now, granted, it doesn't have, I, I don't know, that. like, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it still is, is a beast when it comes to, like, transport, transport and stuff, you know what I mean? Okay, Torp is still going up on that dialect good. But you see what I'm saying? Like we're getting we'll be able to get quite a few stacks of metal on this this roof. But I mean, yeah, granted, it doesn't have the same reduction as you would get from an RG, but I think this thing's a freaking monster, dude. Alright, let's grab our Thyla. Go try to find another metal vein somewhere. Tons of crystal here. Shit, 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 no, oh shit. Too easy, I wasn't even worried about it. I don't I don't doubt that an imprinted Anki RG combo is way more efficient than what I'm doing. I'm not I'm not saying what I'm doing is even remotely efficient. Uh but the thing with an imprinted Anki RG combo is that like for me that that's a whole episode, two episodes, two live streams just to make that happen. You know what I mean? Because I gotta I gotta find two Ankies that are respectable level. Those things take forever to tame. Um then I gotta find two RGs of respectable level. Um, get those tamed, you know what I mean? Then we gotta breed them. Um, you know what I mean? So it's like, it, there's just a lot of time that I would have to invest in something like that right now. And for me, that's just not priority. Like, that's gonna be, that, you know what I mean? There's so many other more interesting things I would like to, you know, spend the, the two episodes on, at least right at this point in the game, than like taming RG Anki right now, you know what I mean? It would just take up a lot of time. Like, even last episode, I felt like I spent way too much time, like, hunting drops. And I'm terrible at multitasking in this game. Now, an Anki, I don't think it would be too bad, because we do have some around the base here. Um, we could probably find a pretty, pretty decent level Anki. Oop, wrong one. Like right here on the base, and all right, so that should be cooking up. That'll be a couple good bit of metal right there. And <laughs> trying to find two more, two more grinders, man. But we did get a decent level dode. Um, like I said, there's a bunch of um, inkies around the base. Like that was a level 140. Try to see if we can get this taming for now. 
The Ankies just take actual lives. Ryan with the super chat, man, your favorite streamer. Uh, me and my brother watch you all the time. Much love from the UK. Ryan, I appreciate the love and support, man. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the content, brother. I want to pull him a bit this way. Is he running? No, I don't think he's running. He's still coming. Come on. Yeah, he's running. Maybe. Boom. Okay, so for this Anki, we can um, we can use crops, right? I think crops will tame it faster. I got some corn. Corn and potatoes, you guys think that would be good? Throw some corn, potatoes, and some miju berries on it. I want this damn thing to tame as fast. Obviously, we need kibble. Kibble would be clutch, but I'm the worst kibble maker in the world because we don't have uh, we don't have eggs right now, so. Alright, so that dial is gonna be done here soon. We've got a what what was that Anki? Was it a male or a female? A uh, male. <laughs> so if we see a decent level. Let me see what its stats are to baseline. 4600 health base. Uh weight 365. Melee damage 205. It's okay. It's got some decent stats. So that, that that's one of the things that I, I've been trying to do uh, a little bit different with, with this playthrough or uh, Amber or not even just this playthrough, but just arc in general is um, when I played the game before, I always, you know, everybody kind of has their comfort, like the meta, you know what I mean? Like, oh, like this is the best way to do things or like, um, ooh, you could actually throw that lamb chops. And I feel like we do it with a lot of games. Just it's just. Because it's, it's a meta, you know what I mean? And this was the best way to do this, or this is the best way. And then you kind of just start every map the same way. You get the same teams, you do the same thing every single time. Even if there's new dinos on the map, um, you still just you got what you're good with, you got what you're comfortable with. You go, you grab that, you do it, and then boom. Like, you know, you never try anything new. And that's kind of how I am. It's like once I get a system down, I just always use that system. And I don't ever de deviate from it. Um, so with like these uh, ne these playthroughs we're doing here, I've been trying my hardest to like try new things, you know, try new tames instead of just getting the same old, same old that we always do, doing the same old, uh, you know, metal gatherer like that we always get the same art, you know. I'm just trying to do uh, trying to do things a little differently, just so it's not the same playthrough over and over again, you know. But the problem with do, doing that, Chen, is you get the standard stuff, but then what's the point of deviating? If you already, if I already got the, uh, a high-level RG from uh, flying and, and, and transporting, and I already have an Anki high-level, why would I ever need to try any, everything else? You know, I, I wouldn't need to. It would just I would have to go out of my way at that point, which most people aren't going to do that. Once you already set, you're set. Like I'm not going to go out of my way to try to find this other thing that's pretty much the same thing that I already have. You know, I'm just gonna try to get the better stuff, you know, the new stuff right away instead of, because realistically, like once I got the standard stuff, I'm not gonna try to get anything else. And by time, you know what I mean? Um, the the playthrough won't even last that long at that point. I can, I mean, I could see it in like a meta like multiplayer setting, you know what I mean, where you you have to kind of stay competitive and worry about other players and what they're doing and and things like that. But when you're playing single player, it's like. Eh, you know, I don't, I don't have to worry about anything other than myself.
Wow, yeah, that, that was some good. <laughs> that was a lot of oil there. You see? Ha <laughs> I got it. You want me to do the other one too? I don't know how mommy, I just break them like that. Does mommy break them too? Yeah. No, she, she just takes them out. Yeah. Does that feel better? Oh, there's another rubber band in there, too. Oh, you got so many. Boom. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Is that better? Here, go put those in the garbage. Okay, Huh? No, put them right there. <clears throat> uh, I've never tamed a horse before. Like, no, I've never tamed one. Because really, I mean, once you get a different tame, it's like, what well, that was the point of a horse, you know what I mean? It's... Like, you know what I mean? Like, like right now I got this kangaroo. What would ever be the point of taming a horse? This is just, it carries more, it's faster, uh, it jumps far as hell, like there's no point of me, like like this is the end game ground team for me, you know what I mean? That should be enough to finish it off. Lamb chop there. They're good for collecting, but this thing is great for collecting. Reduce carry weight for sand. That that that's pretty clutch right there. Ooh, we got a red drop here. We'll go grab this, and then by the time we're done with that, hopefully that thyla is... Oh, it should be done... It says 100%. Ooh, what is this? Well, there was a red drop over this way. Now I can't fucking see two inches in front of my face. Yeah, I, the horse can knock things out. I mean, but is it efficient? Like, is it as efficient as my my my, my rifle that I have here? Ooh, got some rexes here too. Sixty-five. Of course, rexes are always low level as shit. Whoa, he just got a journeyman pump action shot, dude. Relax, dude. You can make narcs in the horse? Oh, shit.
I'm, I'm not using any modded creatures. Now, I actually took all the mods off for this map. Um, all the creature mods. Alright, so this style is pretty much done. The terror birds sound horribly scary, dude. Probably plant a garden, right? Get some uh, carrots and shit going. That way we could try to tame a horse. I wouldn't mind trying to get, at least get one. So we just gotta stick the carrot inside of it, right? That's what you guys said about me. This thing should be done, chat. It's at 100%, dude. They're trolling. Just got to literally eat one more time. There we go. Jesus. So this one went 191, melee 229, terrible, but 6,700 health. So that health, stamina, like this, yeah, it's this is gonna have some good stats to transfer over. It, it, this one's got good health, good stamina. The other one had uh, really good melee, 400% melee. So I just got to make sure my better breeding mod is still active. Because I don't know if I turned that one off. So that cuts out that breeding grind for us. What do I think about Arkham Knight uh, game rated 1 to 10? It's an easy 9. Easy. Some of the side quests were a little repetitive, um, but they still, like, the area, like, the, the like you know, for instance, like, um, the penguin one where you had to follow around, like, the cars. Like, that, that part was kind of repetitive, but once you got to the area, um, you know, they were all, like, unique little puzzles that you had to figure out and shit like that. So, it, it was really good. Yeah, I still have the 100% input setting. I, I should, I sh yeah, yeah, I still have it. Cause then, what did I imprint? I imprinted something in the beginning of this playthrough. The baby, I think it was. We imprinted one of our babies, and yeah, I, I touched it one time, and it imprinted. Because I was worried because I uninstalled the game. So I didn't know if when I reinstalled it, if it, like, redid the INI &I file, but it seems like that it all stayed somehow. I don't I don't know if the INI &I files are just saved in an ARC folder on my computer. I, I don't call how that shit works. But it seemed like it all stayed. Let's get up. Our Thyla's done. We're gonna get those breeding ASAP. Uh, let me build the feeding trough actually so I don't have to worry about my dinos. What do we need for that? I think we're gonna need a little metal, right? Fiber thatch metal wood.
damn, I... Of course, I cooked all the metal instantly. <laughs> Shit. I needed a couple of pieces for the truck to use this raw metal. It's all good. We'll go grab some real quick. Gosh darn, Indy Forge. Thylus, still, yo, the Thylus is awesome, man. Like, I, I really, really, I really like Thylus. Like, they're, they're, it's my favorite. It's, it's one of my favorite teams in the whole game. This is going to be the best style I've ever had, though, because you got to remember the one I had before that I considered the best was only super good because my stats were super broken. Um, and, I, and it was a low level, too. It was only like, I don't even think it was level 100 when I tamed it. Like, no bullshit, guys. It was that low of a level. There's metal up here we can get real quick. Uh, so for me, this this imprinted thylo is going to be the first high-level imprinted thylo with decent stats I've ever done. So I, I'm actually quite excited to see um, how strong it is. Oh, a horse. Yeah, so I remember when we played that multiplayer server, uh, a lot of guys were getting the horse, like, really early game. And um, I was like, yo, that's kind of the meta, dude. Like, I could see how the horse is, like, a really, really good early game tame. Come on, get up there. Come on. Come on. Please. Uh, because, yeah, you could use it to knock out other stuff. Great carrying capacity, things like that. Shit. No, come on. I hit control in the air and it didn't stop. There we go. Yeah, it, it really was that good. Yeah, Arkham Knight was a really great game. Uh, we haven't done any of the DLC yet. I, I do want to do... Uh, the DLC. But yeah, the, the main story itself was phenomenal. Yeah, so this is going to be my first, like, real, like, Thyla that I get to see, like, what, you know, stat-wise. And obviously, it's probably only going to be as strong as the, the boosted one that I had. Or it might still be weaker because my stats were pretty busted. But we'll see. We'll see how it, well, how it, how it is. Because the single-player set, setting really does kind of boost your, your teams up really, really high. So when you're playing without single-player setting, it's... It's a, it's so different, guys. I mean, who, I'm, how am I? You guys know, but yeah, it's so different. got to be short something. Yeah, Jess, I've never really been big into superheroes either, but that game was good, man. It was pretty good, dude. Should have enough. Yep. Get that going. Oh, people say it's the worst story of them all. No, God, no. I think I think Arkham Knight story was the best um, of them all. The uh, Arkham City was cool, but I feel like the story was too all over the place. Um. It was just, it, it didn't feel as cohesive as Night 
Um, Origins was also pretty pretty good, but it added, again, with all the different enemies you had to fight, it kind of felt all over the place. Um, Arkham Asylum, I would say, was pretty pretty legit um, with the story. It, it was definitely very very, but I felt like it was it was basic in comparison to um, Arkham Knight's story. I feel like they're both great, but I, I personally enjoyed Arkham Knight the most. Alright, so we gotta throw some berries in there. So we got raw meat. Take these resources off real quick. If you get a treasure map, the loot is pretty incredible. I, I don't even know what that is. Treasure map. You think that Thyla is going to destroy it? I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to see how good it really is. I know I should... I'm wasting time. I should actually already have those down for breeding. I don't know why I don't. Let's get that metal cooking up real quick. This. I'm going to get those Thylas down right now and get them breeding. It's just wasting time. So we got those. Yep, they're mating. Um, get these berries in here for these guys. All right, man. Those things seem quite slow, though. Okay, so these dudes are mating. Almost done with the mating already. Uh, I, the gestation, I don't know how long it's going to take. It might take a little bit, guys. We're going to have to see how my settings carry over. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Got a storm coming in. Clap, guys. That's fast as hell. That's fast as hell. I know we had it cranked up for uh, breeding those damn um, megatheriums. So, yeah, that's not a long wait at all. Okay, 
Okay, so that'll be done here in a minute. How come I don't have an Archie and an Enki? What do, I don't I don't need an Archie. Well, I have an Enki right here taming, but what do I need an Archie for? When I got the Rue. The Rue is as good as any Archie, man. Minus the weight reduction. This thing is freaking and it's fun as hell. So as soon as this baby's done, I don't want to take off yet until the baby's out. We'll get it set up. The Thyla jump has been changed? I don't need to carry the Anki with the Rue though. I just, like I said, I haven't done any like mass resource gathering yet anyway so that's why we haven't really needed those resource gathering dinos like if i needed a little bit of metal you see i went and got a thousand metal i just grabbed the root went pickaxe it took what two minutes you know what i mean and boom i got the metal i need now if i was trying to like mass haul you know fifteen thousand metal like yeah i'd probably want to be a bit more efficient but we haven't we re haven't really done anything like that yet we just got a small little setup we're kind of just trying to explore new things right now we haven't really dug into that like mass resource grab gathering yet like this is the first bit of metal gathering i've had to do the whole game and mainly because uh the grinder you know that grinder kind of set us up to where we didn't have to resource gather uh -uh. okay so we'll 243 Turn off meeting for a sec. Okay, so we got. I think the better breeding might have took. If that's 243, I want to say that that definitely got the better stats. Of them. Let's let's get it over here where we can monitor it. Yeah, it got the health, it got the stamina, and it got the melee. Yep, yeah, awesome. So I got all the good stats. Oh, I enabled mating. I was trying to turn it off. thing is is this thing's grown up quite fast is that six point we got an imprint in four minutes i don't think it'll fully mature in four minutes so i think we'll be good because that's the one thing about like trying to get the imprint and the ma mature speed stuff like good some dinos are like fully mature before you can even fucking imprint them which We'll have to see if that's the case here. I don't think so. I think we'd be all right, though. So it seems about 10% a minute. Don't... Uh, Vale, I have a mod. I have a mod that um, auto automatically does that for me, so I don't have to worry about the breeders. It's called the Better Breeding Mod. It automatically takes the highest stats from the parents and will always give you the higher stats so you don't have to like breed multiple dinos to try to get the like you know yeah because ain't nobody got time for that um so yeah i have the better breeding mod which automatically does that for me so every baby that pops out of these will be this they'll have these stats it's a nice mod yeah it definitely takes a bit of the grind out of the breeding So I'm just waiting for this imprint. Two minutes. Let me see what else. Can... Uh, I'm going to throw some um, narcs into this.
I don't know if we're gonna get 100% imprint. If we don't get 100% imprint, that means my I and I is not set anymore. But we'll, we'll check it. We'll see how it works. Mark this up a bit. Oh, two of the same are the best base for getting mutation. I, I see what you're saying, so you can see your, yeah, your mutations. What is this? Cooked prime fish meat. Yeah, the, the mod is called uh, Better Breeding. Yeah, dude, it, it was it was the clutchest mod I've ever seen, dude. Yeah, it's called Better Breeding. Cause yeah, I was not a fan of having to like breed over and over and over and over and over and over and over again just to get the stats I wanted to transfer over. It was so annoying, dude. Cause I remember I was trying to move melee stats on um, Aberration when I was doing the Megs, and. I rolled seven in a row, chat, and none of them, it, it just was, it's RNG, you know what I mean? And every single one failed. I'm like, bro, and then on the eighth one, I finally got it, but that shit is just, it's just unnecessary. Like, I was like, I, it just wasn't fun. Like, I wasn't having fun at that point, especially when I'm on a time crunch and shit. I just, yeah, I was, I was not enjoying myself. So when I seen that mod, I was like, yeah, let me get that. Yeah, dinos that take forever. But yeah, Valley, could you imagine sitting there waiting for a dino to mature for like, you know, a few hours and then it fucking matures and then boom, the stats aren't what you so you gotta keep. Yeah, that, that ain't it, dude. Easy. Uh, hey, it's all good, man. Dealing with some stuff. I hope everything's all good, Easy. Uh, but I appreciate you finding a little time to come and hang out. Okay. So he wants to go for a walk with me. Easy enough. Hopefully we get the 100% imprint. Yes! So the imprint standing is still good. Alright, we got it. So now that thing is a... Let's see what these imprinted stats look like, chat. What do you guys think? You think it's gonna be a monster? Here we go. Health, 9,400. Melee is 563. 170% movement speed. With almost 1,000 weight. That, that's insanity, guys. Those, you, what do you guys think? And this is not leveled, you know what I mean? We still got 88 more levels to put into this bad boy. It's, it's gonna be a monster. Yeah, I mean, and then, and then the saddle that's gonna be on him. Look at this saddle. You guys ready for this? 244 armor on the saddle. He's, he's going to be insane, dude. He's going to be insane. That's almost as nice as my Rock Drake saddle that I got in Aberration. I had a 267% or 267 armor um, Rock Drake saddle. Turned my Rock Drake into a... It was just unkillable machine, dude. So this thing should be done in, I don't know, probably about 5, 10 minutes or so. Um, while we're waiting for that, we definitely got some more stuff that we can go take care of. Uh, cause once that's done, we're gonna go hit the dunes. 
put this in what's inventory for right now. We're going to go hit the dunes once that's done. But for right now, oh, let's see, is there any drops in the area that we could go check? Also, see if there's any high level Ankies around here. Our Anki was a male, right? I think we're looking for a high level female Anki. Let me double check. I could just check the team tracker, but I think I'm in the male. Yeah, we need a high level female. Three fifty-seven point seven is max armor on Thylacet. Oh my God! Could you imagine three hundred and fifty-seven armor? I thought the two hundred one was broken. Yeah, these drops around here are all pretty bad. Blues, greens, whites. Starting to get diminishing returns on those weight stats. I might start stop putting points into weight because we're not even getting a hundred weight uh, per point anymore. Oh, there's a red over there coming down near Blue Ob. You know we got to get that. We're not going in there though. Why is that whole area foggy like that? Fuck. <laughs> Stick to the high ground here. Uh, am I gonna be playing once human again? Yeah, I'll probably check it out. We re I, we had a, that, a lot of fun with that game before, so it'd be nice to see if the you know if they made any changes or whatnot too. I'll, but I'll definitely be checking that one out. Like tech rock drakes, three hundred and sixty-seven. That's ridiculous, dude. Could you imagine six hundred and thirty-seven armor? Better get the giant new dino and build a base on it. Wait. Oh, you talking about that flying thing? That, like, big bug thing? I don't even know how to get that, dude. I got the DLC installed. I don't even know how you get that dino, though. Yeah, red drops are the best drops in the game, for sure. Anytime you see one, you should definitely uh, try to get it. Oh, we got another. Oh, I think it's a double loot red. No, it's not, dude. There's no way. I think it's just a regular red. Yeah, we got another red coming down there, too. So we got a red there and a red there. So pretty much any time you see a red drop, just, yeah, definitely, definitely go. It's it's so good. Um, I also want to get some wyverns, though, guys. Like, it, 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 I got wyverns on the first time I played this map. Um, but I never had, like, an imprinted, like, legit wyvern before. So I would like to get one of those. Can you use the wyverns in the boss fight? I don't remember. She's at the thing, baby. Wait till she. What do you want? You can go get a couple. Okay. Oh, okay, we're good.
to the better dino level mod is you have to fight harder dinos all the time. So it's like a majority of the dinos that you're going to fight are all going to be high as hell level and it's, it's rough sometimes, guys. What? Are you fucking kidding me right now, dude? The second I go to click it, really? Yeah, like... I fucking hate this game, dude. The second I got off the game, click it, dude. Like, that, like, they... You know, I'm not, I don't even care anymore. I don't, I don't worry about it. Whatever. No, fuck that shit. That's bullshit, dude. That's so... Sh like, that... Whatever. I had the best stuff too. That's what I'm saying, dude. This, uh, uh, I had all that time that I was in the middle of a fight to despawn. It could have despawned at any moment, dude. First of all, I don't understand why it despawned anyways, because it looked like it was coming down, and then it, the, the drops were supposed to be there for 10 minutes, I thought. Or well, red drops shorter time frame. If red drops are shorter time frame, okay, it is what it is. I, I, I get it, but that, that didn't seem like 10 minutes to me, dude. I was, I was fucking fighting for all of a half a minute. One of your teams and extract its soul from its inventory. Put the soul in the lake on the back of the Osasaur. Stop defend and revive Dino from vultures and you're done. Oh, that's how you get that big bug looking flying dinosaur thing? I've never I still haven't seen one though. Do they spawn somewhere specific? Of course, I got this fucking shitty ass drop, dude. It's fucking straight butt. Shit, straight ass cheeks. The other one, I know it had the, it had the, the it was the meta one, like. Oh, they're in the desert? Yeah, we're about to go to the dunes pretty much right now. I think we're going to head out to the dunes. I did get another Mind Wipe Tonic, too. Got some veggie cakes.
It's almost done. It's at 93. Nobody's got to go out, eat some, eat some dinos, get some early levels while we while we uh, bring its health back up, and we'll be in good shape, guys. Just want to make sure this Anki's good too. It's not going to wake up when we're gone. Eight through all my veg. Gotta reorganize the base, man. It's a freaking mess. Ninety nine, almost done. Callie, what's up, brother? Um, keep my spoiled meat. I, I I was keeping spoiled meat in the preserving bin. Oh, not these berries though, because I didn't have enough space for these berries. Um, but I was keeping a spoiled meat in here, that way it doesn't break down, which I can actually turn this into narcos. But I shouldn't have any anywhere else. Blow it up with C4? I feel like we're about to see some interesting stuff here in the dunes. All right, so let's get the Styla leveled up a little bit. What would you guys say a good amount of health is for a Thyla? What, like 15k? Almost 300 damage per hit. Do I have a 15k? Ah, uh, we can also... Why does it not jump forward? Is that what you guys are talking about, about the Thyla jump being broken? It's fast as shit, though. I wonder if they're working on fixing that, because that, that is quite frustrating. <laughs> this thing is so fast. Hundred damage there on those headshots. Oops, I didn't mean to drop that. Oh yeah, pet my little dudes for the XP boost. That'd be. I was also gonna go grab a um a note too. Non you from the feeding shop. What the hell?
Yeah, I don't know if it's a bug or a nerf because it, it definitely doesn't feel good when the Thyla doesn't jump forward. Like, it just... Now, granted, you can still, like, come up to a wall, right? And scale, yeah, so you can still scratch your way up surfaces, but you can't, like, jump forward. It just, like, stops. Okay, so I think the dunes closer if I go this way. They nerfed it? I mean, when you nerf something, you're not supposed to nerf it to zero, because now it has zero forward momentum. <laughs> Like, like, reducing its forward momentum, you know, by 30, 40%, that's a nerf. But when you're just like, yeah, we're just going to make it zero. <laughs> then... That makes no sense. Oh, it's not 125. So yeah, we'll go about 15k help. No, maybe 13. We'll see. I don't know. We'll kind of see how the how the points start distributing. Go 13-3 right now. I mean, I, I get the I I can understand uh, uh, a little bit of a nerf, but when when you don't get a forward momentum at all, um, it like it, it can't do anything. Like you can't even like like if you wanted to bring it into a cave, you can't even jump. Like if there was a jump in a cave or something like that, it just it just makes it super weird um, because it's this super mobile cat that jumps off trees and pounces. And you're telling me, like, it can't jump forward? Like, what? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Okay, so let's throw a couple points in the melee now. damage we got hung up on a trick and jump over it wow that was a lot of saber tooth babies Bad I wasn't hunting for fucking prime meat right now. That'd have been nice. So I wonder how much health they lose from the bleed per second. Some 
micro. I think that was a micro raptor, right? 1% health HP a second? Holy shit. Make a mobile bathe with te with teeth. I I might I might get a thyla for a cart because this thing's fast. That that's the that's the one thing about it is it's really really fast. So we could make a thyla for um, but I don't know. I like I like I like having like different dinos. You know what I mean? Uh, we got that one the the moda whatever what the hell is it the Motralotops or whatever the the water dino there. He, and he just looks like a cool um, he looks cool. You know what I mean? Kind of fits the 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 role. About 9k health currently. Mm, sandstorm. So thylas aren't cats. What's up, brother? How you doing? Not worth using wyverns in a boss fight. I don't think I used one in the first man of core fight. I don't remember. Four hundred damage per hit chat with plus bleed. Sounds like the storm's, yep, passing. Awesome. We're almost full up on health, too. So we're at level 280 on the Styler right now. Thing is a straight up monster.
We'll put it to the test once we fight a death worm. We'll see. We'll see how we how we how it performs. 20k health? That's a lot of health, man. I don't know. Do you think 20k might be overkill though with with the 244 armor saddle? Nyx with the super chat. Thank you so much. How you doing today? That is huge. I appreciate the support. I hope you're having a good day. Okay, almost done. Nope, nope. Okay, so health is all good now. Hold on to some of this stuff for... I want to see how much damage I take. Hey, oh, it's a level 150 Carno, so this is good. 22 damage. We just erased that 150. So with the bleed damage, though, we definitely took... We definitely took a good bit of damage. wiped a huge chunk of my health. Now, because that Carno, that Carno's bleed damage bypasses all my armor, right? That's probably why I took so much damage right there. That, that, that seems like a lot of damage that I just took. Am I outside? No, 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 dude. I'm sitting in the same spot, man. The office hopefully will be done tomorrow, which means I'll probably be able to move in over the weekend and everything will be back to, to normal um, come this weekend. Right, let's get out to the dunes, guys. Don't even jump forward. It's not even worth your time. here. What level is that bad boy? 50, so he's breakfast. So the Rex is doing 9 damage. need to tame a mantis dude i forgot what you got to do to get the mantis don't you got to like have bug repellent on and like do something stu uh, do something like with the horn the death don't you need a death we got to fight death worms in order to tame mantises right we got a red drop coming double loot red coming down Yeah, the, the, the rhino horns are death worms. Okay. I knew there was a reason for hunting death worms. Oh, 
toasty over here. Health-wise, we're doing pretty good. Josh, thank you so much for the membership, man. Welcome to the family. Yeah, so bug repellent and deathworm horns. Look for desert drops. All right, bet. Hopefully we can survive in the dunes with the gear that we have on. Did they, did they nerf the, the drops? I feel like the, the drops got nerfed. They're so much worse than... <laughs> we were balling out of control before, dude. Now what's happening? They're so not good. Maybe, maybe we just got lucky, dude. I was taking it for granted. I post a short of the new office. I mean, I could do a short. I mean, generally, I like take pictures and put on Discord and stuff like that. Because um, the Discord is more isolated, you know what I mean? Where on uh, like YouTube shorts, that's like out there for everybody. So, you know, I have people fucking creeping on my house and or whatnot. But I don't know. I might. I might. I might. It, 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 it depends on what it looks like. It doesn't look like anything crazy, guys. All we pretty much did was just modernize it because it had like wood paneling and like a drop ceiling that was falling apart. It was like really, really shitty. Um, so we kind of just modernized it so it's not as bad. in here with this though to get the note. Right then, now that I have found a shady spot where I can enjoy a brief respite from this desert's dreadful heat, it's high time that I set some goals for this expedition. If I wander about aimlessly, then I'm sure to meet the same fate as poor Gerald. First, I shall find a local tribe, if for no other reason than to obtain a proper mount and supplies. Second, I simply must learn more about that strange metal that lined the walls of the sanctuary. Even with a cursory study, I could tell that it possesses wondrous properties. But where can I find more of it? We do got to be ready for a death worm, guys. Never fought a death worm without boosted stats, so this is going to be interesting, to say the least. Alas, poor Timur. He was so focused on celebrating his victory over one foe that he never saw his greatest threat. 
Now he lies beneath the severed head of the beast he vanquished, eyes bulging and blood seeping from his open mouth. At least, that is how I imagine him. I did not stay to admire my handiwork. As soon as the first group of burning phoenix warriors succumbed to their poisoned feast, I stole away into the night. Edmundium and Artifact in tow. Serves those ruffians right, I say. They never did treat me with the propriety that a gentleman and scholar of my caliber deserves. This desert is better off without them. Just gotta watch our weight. I don't have a whole lot of weight. So. Shorts, what's going on? How you doing? Hey, everything is going good, dude. Going good. Huge damage. This ore is simply extraordinary. It is warm to the touch, even during these cold desert nights, and it pulses as though it has its own heartbeat. It is at once light and more sturdy than any natural material I have encountered. The uses one could find for such a substance. I shall have to name it at some point. What would do? Rockwellium? 45. Edmundium? A dilemma for another time. For now, I have more pressing matters. Timur and his burning phoenix savages have played guys. their part and I me. cannot remain in their custody. 45. It is time for the great warrior chief to receive his just reward. So I lost 300, I, I lost 300 health against the death worm. Those ones are definitely a lot better than the ones in AS, a, a, uh, the, the original art, because they would just kind of spring up up the ground you never you know what i mean the, that one like actually tremored across around i don't know it seemed different i don't remember them doing that in the original game they might have but i don't remember it i'm gonna drop this for right now base Nah, alpha death. Where do you even find alpha worms at?
wasn't too bad, guys. Bought two death worms at once. They barely scratched me. Passing soon, as soon as we're walking into it. Should be ending soon, yep. Got a freaking mantis, dude. It's only a 70. Oh, you get poly from mantis, too. Yeah, definitely a good polymer farm out here. So I don't see any of those big ass things you guys were talking about. That new dino, that big flying platform thing, 115 mantis, 70. Oops, I did not want to drop that. That's what it is. The rare? Will I know one when I see it? Like... I remember what it looked like from the thing. I don't know if they're like partially in the ground or what are they? They're pretty easy to spot. I don't, I don't find any desert drops. Not ever. I mean, I mean, hopefully we'll see one. That'd be cool.
120 on this team. And a 150, jeez, I'll, I'll, hopefully you'll survive. We'll let him, we'll let him live. I mean, Grant, it, won't be, it, won't, it shouldn't be hard. Go out further? I thought there was a wall. I remember before when I came into the desert, there was like a wall. You could only go so far out, and then you'd hit that like barrier. That's why I was kind of skirting where I was. Some spots are narrow, some spots go Oh really? I didn't I didn't know that. Yeah, I always kept hitting that damn that barrier, man, and I just assumed That's salt, right? I mean even this is the farthest I've ever gone out. Generally you can't Oh shit. Um, okay, so it's a scorch event, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm gonna be dying here soon. Fuck. We gotta find water. Wish I would have brought a tent with me. I mean, we're not losing health, but I don't know if it's gonna get hotter, because, yeah, it's definitely getting hotter. It's at 70 right now. As soon as it hits 75. Yep, boom, we're, we're, we're hurting. wonder if I could take shelter in this building here, if that will help. Uh, it won't help when there's no fucking cover. Yeah, I mean, I should I should have brought a tent. It was dumb for me not to. Hopefully, we're gonna find some water over here. We got a red red drop over here too. We got a cave here. We can go in this. This should help, right? No, doesn't fucking matter. I don't think it matters. I've never seen this shit before. This is this is pretty dope. Are you telling me it's not cool in here? What the fuck? Yeah, I got the Bob's tail things. That's crazy dumb chat. Like, even in here, it's still dying.
Why haven't I made med bruce? Uh, uh, mainly because I was too lazy to fucking do the whole water shebang in the in the cooker. I was trying to get the indie cooker. But it's way too much metal. Yeah, we're nowhere near it's fucking water, dude. That shit to be buried in the ground. No shit, shit. Okay, that doesn't take that much fall damage. Cool. All right, we're good. Woo. Damn, he just shit all over the fucking place. Damn, this place looks nice. Yeah, the tents aren't that bad. The tents really aren't that... I'd probably make one right now, actually. We find some of those purple flowers. Yo, this place is gorgeous, though. My damn scythe on me.
I don't remember how much I needed. For the tent, uh, where the hell is the tent? There it is. Okay, so we got, so all we need is hide, thatch, and wood. Okay, we're good to go. We got hide. Just need a little bit of thatch and a little bit of wood. Oh, no fucking gas. Are you kidding me, dude? Not ideal, but it'll work. Heat event's over anyways. I feel like I'm pretty yeah I'm pretty far away from my base Val like my base is all the way on the other side I'm inland but I'm like still quite far away from where I live a lot of the shit that I have on me though like I don't I like I can drop the metal stuff's not all that important so uh, if I get to a point where I'm too heavy I'll start dropping shit I don't really need and grab the important stuff Kind of just stockpiling some hides because we make some gas and. Kevin with the super chat, thank you so much. How you doing today? Yeah, the hide's not all that heavy. The heaviest things I have on me right now would be uh, like these little metal bits here. I got like 11 of these metal water intakes. Um, I was I was holding. We got a bunch of meat on us still. I could I, I could drop. You know what I mean? We got we got a lot of stuff we could drop. But uh. The, the thigh looking carry quite a bit, so. It's bad, this jump, this jump is. Like, I, I, yeah, I don't like it. I really hope they fix that soon. What is that purple, the arrows at the top of the screen? That means I have an XP boost right now. That was a death worm rumble. There is no soon wild card. That's unfortunate. So if they were to fix the thyla, what do you guys think it's gonna be like this until fucking Genesis comes out? Then they'll finally fix it when nobody's playing Scorched Earth or even maps with thylas on them. I don't know. Maybe there's thylas on Genesis. I never played Genesis 2. I never played Gen 2, so. Or, we only played a little bit of Gen 1. By the time the next map comes out, I'll fix it. Is that 
Another worm over here. Is that a rock golem? What the fuck is that? Oh shit, that thing fucking hit my armor, dude. Did it break? Okay, it didn't break anything, it just... Did they change the way the scorpions work? Or the centipedes? I ate that dino though. That thing did look pretty cool. I ain't, that, that's that new dino, right? Oh, it hit the dino and not me. Got you. Cause like usually when that thing hits your armor, that shit ends it. So what part of the desert is the deepest? Like what would you say? Like the, the, the side I'm on? Like the north? Get a lot of these death worm horns. We gotta get a mantis for sure. Almost at a thousand percent melee, guys. Can you tame a deathworm? I don't know. I, oh, okay, so we hit the end of the map here. I'm surprised nobody ever came up with a mod that let you tame death worms.
So when you guys, so when you guys play Manicor, what is your uh, like setup that you usually? I think I use Rex's. Yeah, I use Rex's on mine. and duties. Primitive treasure cat. Oh, I got one of the maps, chat. I got one of the treasure maps. I gotta get a. We gotta get a shovel. Would you guys say those are pretty good? Dump the leech blood. I thought there was a potion you made with leech blood. Isn't there a craftable potion for leech blood? You can get ramshackled up to ascended maps. Oh, what's mine? Primitive. Of course I got a fucking booty ass. Regular... Thyla's like the master at getting prime meat, man. Okay, you're not fill canteens there. I'm near blue obelisk, which means we're gonna be getting near the uh, the rock Drake or the Drake area soon. Let's hope one of these bad boys would be an alpha worm. What am I playing something for? I don't know. I gotta go check the uh, the list. Thousand percent melee. There it is, guys. See, if we got a couple extra points, I could even throw some in the wheat. Started off at what? 241? I think it was 240 something. 
So we're about probably 70 points into this. We probably got about 10 points left. Forty-six. Yeah, we probably don't have very many points left. Val, I'm so, yo, Aberration is my favorite map, dude. I'm ready. Lightning wyverns for the Maver uh, the Manicor boss fight. The rock elementals and death worms on the ground can't hit them. So would you go in there with like 20 lightning wyverns? And just fucking all flying around spamming the Manicor? <laughs> That'd be a hell of a sight to see. It's gonna get real when dealing with aberrant raptors again. They have the the pounce. I thought they added the pounce. Oh yeah. Oh no, they don't have the the wild ones. Don't have the pounce in in the normal game. But you can use the pounce when you tame one. But yeah, the wild ones don't do the pounce. Way cooler than the Rex arm. No, for sure. No, for sure. I, I feel like the Rex arm, like Rexes and the UDs, like just like the base, like me, like this is your basic, you know, go-to boss fight. Um, which there ain't nothing wrong with that, you know what I mean? But it always is fun to try to, you know, spice things up a little bit. First alpha boss fight on Scorched. I mean, I already got a Rex Saddle blueprint, so I probably could pull it off on this map. We're out here easy clapping death worms. Like, it's not even a thing. The style is really the real deal, guys. And it feels good, you know what I mean? Because it's not like boosted. It's just like a good Thyla. You know, we got two high-ass high, high ass level, you know, almost, they're both, one was 150, one was 145. So they're pretty much max level.
got mad rotten meat from the vulture. Damn, they're wicked. Yo, that's how that's the meta chat. That's the rotten meat meta. All right, stop it. Get a vulture shoulder pet for tons of rotten meat. Wyverns have no saddles, no armor. They just take full damage. I mean, if I go to do alpha, uh, I'll probably just do rexes. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not too concerned. I just don't know how, how I don't know how stacked these rexes are gonna need to be, you know what I mean? You could do Overseer without any dinos, just the tech suit. I heard about that. Like, people going in there just with the tech suit flying around and shooting them with a super crazy good uh, shoddy. been dope to find just one singular desert drop. We're getting close to the Drake Trench. We gotta be careful there. Cause I don't know how far out from the. Ch I've never seen, at least in ASC, the Dra the Drakes never left the trench for the most part, unless they like were chasing you. And I haven't seen a dragon flying around the map yet, so we'd probably be all right. Surviving on my own was less work. At least then, I wasn't conscripted into manual labor. Ugh, my whole body feels sore. <laughs> I bet I wouldn't have to work if I were as a door. Didn't smell anything to me.
Mm-hmm. Well, the meat. Horrible as Radar, the whole village is in love with her. I swear they spoil her like a furry little princess. Rockwell would be livid about this arrangement. I can just hear him ranting about treating scholars with propriety. I hope the old Brit is doing well. Maybe when I've broken this mystery wide open, I'll figure out a way to get him off the island, and we can discuss it all over tea like old times. Oh, shit. So, would you guys say those things do some good damage? They look cool as shit. How do you tame these things? Oh yeah, we need grenades, right? Another one there, too. Level 75. So there's the Drake Trench, guys. We definitely don't want an aggro fucking dragon, because we will die. Unless it went down to the ground, then we'd probably be okay. Just trying to... Try to see if we can spot a dragon from here. One seventy five fire. They can spin around an enemy and make them slowly fall underground. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that sounds pretty damn cool. You could get an egg with a thyla in theory. Yeah, yeah, in theory. Let's start heading back.
Using moss. Jay, don't even come in here with that using moss bullshit. No, 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 Cause that's what fucking chat told me. Oh, bro, just, 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 just use a moth, bro. The fucking, the, when it gets super close to you, dude, just fucking let out a fart and then the fucking dragon. Uh, yeah, that shit didn't work. All right, I fucking died. Don't, don't bullshit me with these goddamn moth bullshit. That shit didn't work. We got fucking dead because that shit was so slow. Probably take our Thyla artifact hunting at some point. You guys think I can knock an artifact cave with this thing? Oh, what's in here? This area on that looks so dope, dude. Nah, what do we use? Uh, we used a, um, the tape. Yeah, we, we used the tape when we, uh, I think when we successfully got our first dragon. And even then, that dragon was still, like, hunting my ass down. Brent, I have a lot of crystal, dude, back at base. Yeah, we got lots and lots of crystal. I got lucky and was able to grind a grinder. We got thousands of crystal right when we first started. So I haven't had to mine any yet. Yeah, it was, it was nice. That and we, we barely have any carry capacity right now. My, my thyla is at like 90%. Oh, there's a tape right there. Put down a bed, put the good stuff in a thyla and use the grappling hooks to give that. That, that's what I did to get my first rock Drake eggs. I was being all fucking Mission Impossible. We got one though. And Tyler's take like no fall damage.
Yeah, now we're walking way too slow. Yo, the Mantis is amazing, Tim. I had an Amantis. I, I I got my first Mantis actually when I got to Extinction, believe it or not. Um, yeah, it was Extinction when I oh, I, find, I went back to Scorch Earth from Extinction, and um, we tamed a Mantis and brought it back, and it was it was awesome. I didn't I didn't need one on um I didn't I didn't get a Mantis on. Aberration though because we had the Karkonos and the Karkonos you, you guys know that thing is a just Grab an Anki in one hand Freaking you know and just walk around like that. That was that was a super meta, but We went back and tamed a Whatchamacallit uh, Mantis and it was it was awesome. I, I remember to I, I had an ascendant sword that had like it was ridiculous amount of damage the ascendant sword and I, I equipped it to the mantis show that thing was hitting like it was hitting like a giga dude it was literally like I forgot what well, thing was like 1600 damage it was absolutely insane if you get a good sword and give it to the mantis it was so strong Twenty rock up. This thing's hit harder than the, the death worms. Two damage per hit, but Yo, how much health do you guys think this 120 rock elemental has? Base. Maybe we should let this thing live, actually. I mean, I'll come back and fucking tame it one day. That thing's a monster, dude. I've never tamed one of those things before. Don't you don't you guys say you need a cannon or something to tame that? We hit the dunes pretty good today, though. I mean, we didn't really get much. We got some death worm horns and stuff like that, but... We didn't get no desert drops. A lot of raw resources, like hides. and We, need, we needed hides for sure, but... Jay, you stole two Wyvern eggs. So... How'd you outrun it, dude? 
That that's the only that's the issue. Like, how did you outrun the the wyvern? Because stealing the egg, yeah, like I, like I could steal the egg all day, dude. How did you get away from the wyvern after said egg was stolen? I got a better chance of running on foot, bro, than getting away from it on that goddamn moth. Does this moth look like the meta to you? Does this look like... Dude, this thing's moving though, chat. Come on. Let me find out, chat. Is this it? No, you just do the little poo like that, right? And then... Chat, what if you zip it up to... What if you put some points into... uh? Put some points in the movement speed. Yo, can we whip a, can, can you get these things fast? Maybe maybe this is the meta chat. Maybe I just maybe I just needed You can you can level movement speed in single player. Yeah, see? I mean, 200% movement speed, dude. Look at this thing, chat. Yo, we're... We're, we're gonna get a wide egg, chat. We're gonna get a wide egg, chat. Yo, we're ready, dude. Uh, let me let me go get some notes. Imprint. I, I would have to. That would be a whole. Cause I'd have to mate them. I don't know. I'd, I'd have to get another one. And uh, but we can grab a note right now. The moth is the meta. This is it. You can't. T Damn, though. The stamina chat is not the meta, though. This is what I did last. I just maybe I didn't do it right last time though. Like, this moth is way faster than the moth I had last time. Yeah. Plus we got that fart attack, dude. That's, that's all we need. Oh. Yeah, and we're heavy too, and he's still moving like. Hold on, let me empty out. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me get the setup as if we were actually gonna go do it right now. We'll just test this out. We definitely need some stamina though, because this stamina ain't gonna cut it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Amber, watch, you're about to see the meta right now. You're gonna be like, oh my god. Like, we just didn't do it right, chat. I, I literally think the moth that I went in with was probably like level 50. But this moth is like level 178. Like, this is. They call these the. um, These are called the meta moths. Yeah, 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 these are the meta moths. Trust me, I, I know. 
We just weren't using a Metamoth before. Like. What, so you think I would steer you guys wrong? Like... You guys know me, I know the meta. Right, let me see. Now, you guys ready? This is this is what it's like. Chat, we're gone. We are gone, dude. I don't have my chainsaw on me, Jen. Like we're moving, dude. Now, how do you level these things up, though, for real? Because it can't attack anything. Oh, shit. I got it. Only passive XP and notes? Damn, these things are not the meta levelers, though, I'll tell you that. Like, this is just base level flying chat. That is already faster than an RG. We need some more notes though. We'll see if we can spot any. And then boom, we turn on that meta speed. You're telling me a wyvern can keep up with this? Maybe you guys can't really see the speed because we're not like look how once you're closer to the ground you can really see the speed Look at this Yeah, once once we're closer to the ground you can actually see the speed when you're up high it's, it, You can't really but look at this Look at that mobility chat like we could turn so fast the wyvern won't even be he'll still be turning around and we're gonna be zip zip, you know, just zipping all over the place. Oh, we got it, chat.
We got it, guys. Wonder if I should put point in stam or, or get a little bit more speed, you know what I mean? Let's get some more speed. Let's get some more speed. That is already faster. You seen that takeoff? You guys can't deny that we are moving, dude. gonna die uh come on how many you let me see them l's in the chat if you really think i'm uh, like i'm about to die and this ain't gonna work out nobody believes in the metamoth Nobody believes in Metamoth chat. It's a shame. That's a superhero name. It's like Spider Man's Metamoth, Metamoth. Metamoth, Metamoth. That's what. That's the song that needs to be playing. We're, as soon as we start running from the Wyvern chat, that's like if you guys want to know what song needs to play, that's the song that needs to be playing. Be, Metamoth, Metamoth, din, 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 Metamoth. And we're just gonna be zipping away from the fucking Wyvern, dude. Can't catch the Metamoth. You know what I mean? It's all good, chat. You gonna learn today. No, no, the deal, the deal is, okay? The deal is, if Metamoth pulls this off, every single one of you guys in chat, from now to the end of time, all right, you have to go and name any moth that you have or will have Metamoth. I can't even see, dude. Like, we're lost as fuck right now, dude. <laughs> I'm just flying straight. Where's the ground, dude? I'm lost. Exactly, gems. We only got to get the egg out, dude. Once the egg's out the trench... Yeah, we got to fly away up in the air. Can't see shit. Once we get the egg out, we just got to get back to our body. Metamoth will be the, the he'll, he'll sacrifice his 
his life. I already got a plan, chat. Get a, get the egg and log out. <laughs> Cloud is moving on me, dude. Go away. I'm trying to blind Metamoth here. See, see, how the, see how the game is trying to fuck us over right now? We're sitting here trying, trying to do this, and then they're going to be spawning black freaking clouds all over the goddamn place. When I'm trying, I got other things I need to worry about, chat. You see what I'm saying? This is bullshit. Go away. They're trying to. Really over here trying to stop Metamoth? Like, really? You see what they got to do to stop Metamoth? Because they knew what was about to happen, Chuck. Now we can't even see. I really don't even know if we're going the right way anymore. Well, are we breaking out? Nope. You guys know this is tricking not even cool. Had a plan, chat. Yo, how big is this fucking cloud, dude? About the command console this shit away. I'm flying straight down, chat. I don't remember being this. There we go. Can't hold down. You can't hold back Metamoth. They tried. Make Metamoth merch. <laughs> I mean, Metamoth's got a. I, I'm, I'm about to show you guys. Right here. Okay. So, first things first, we gotta find an egg that we want. Alright. And then Metamoth can do. Ooh. Fucking wyvern right there. There's a, that's a lightning egg right there, right? Fuck, why won't the egg level show? Goddamn. 
Maybe we'll go try to find that egg that, that's not surrounded by all the wyverns. Oh, was that a drop? Oh, shit. Spent all that time in the fucking desert, right? Didn't see nothing. Red desert cave drop. There's some bullshit like that, really. Or should I just should I just grab that lightning egg no matter what and just 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 take off with it? Let me see. Fuck it, we'll just grab that one. Uh, let's met, let Metamoth get a stand back, cause lure a couple wyverns away. I don't even know if I'll be able to lose them. Metamoth, Metamoth, we're gonna get this one down here, cause there's less wyverns. Metamoth, you ready, bro? What level is this one? Uh, what level is it? Fertilite. 175. Metamoth, Metamoth, Meta, 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 Metamoth. Man, I'm all... Oh, fuck! Okay. So we're good, we're good. Oh, shit. Met him off some fire. We're still good, though. Forgot the fart, chat. I, I for no, I, it was my fault. I forgot to use the fart attack. That that's. Can't we go? We can still go back to where we died and maybe get the egg still. There's still hope, Jet. There's still hope. Metamoth. He didn't die for nothing, okay? You know who the wyverns can't stop? Kanga dude, Kanga dude.
No, it's all good, chat. We'll get back to our body. Hopefully, the, did anybody see what the expir oh fuck the expiration time was on that 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 egg? Like how long we had? Oh shit, I didn't even realize we're freezing to death. God damn it. Damn, we're dying quick, quick. Oh, we can't jump. We need to get more of the desert clothing. That one is a lot more universal. Still freezing to death. What? I got two pieces of fur armor on plus. How fucking cold is negative two? Why is it so cold? Might have to swap out the ghillie for a Try that out. So now I got desert and fur on, which should be more than enough, dude. That that was ridiculously cold. It's negative two, which is no, we're still cold. I got a torch, desert armor on, and two pieces of fur.
Really? Just fucking playing games right now. There's no way I'm gonna still be cold. I got hundreds of cold resist now. Okay, I was about to say. Are those wyverns gonna like go back to the um to the trench or you think they're gonna stay around my body? Cause that would suck. If the wyverns are still there, though, I'm not going to risk the kangaroo because I don't think we can outrun the wyverns with this. Even though we can, like, jump super far, they're definitely going to be able to keep up on my ass. Well, I could probably kill them with the Thyla. But I don't know. 175 wyvern? The... the Pretty sure it's gonna shred. Maybe the answer is going to be right here in this drop. It definitely was not the answer, but... I'm getting close to the body chat. I'm going to lie that. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Are still there. Fuck. 
they're, they're distracted with the Archies. Nah, I don't know, chat. I don't want to risk the room, man. Wait, is that my bag up there, chat? Floating in the air, you see that? Chat, please, don't tell me it is. Cause I died. So when I grab this egg, are they going to come after me again? Or is it like only that initial time you get the egg from the nest? Every time? But they're, but they're all gone. I think we're good, chat. Oh, fuck, he's right there, dude. So they're getting further and further away. And I'm free! You don't stop, you don't never look back, chat.
So yeah, we gotta be good, right? They can't keep up with this. There's no way. See, Metamol sacrifice. Is a 175 Wyvern egg good? Uh, what's their what's their max level? One eighties max or one ninety five? Oh shit! So yeah, that's a pretty good one then. No, Metamoth, he he he's he did his thing, you know what I mean? It, it was uh It was for the greater good, you know what I mean? He he made that sacrifice so we would get a better flying mount. So just think Metamoth just really he he just ascended, you know, he's become a dragon. Yeah, I think I think we will need the milk, but I'm not sure because the way my settings are, um, the way my settings are, it might grow up fast enough that we don't even have to worry about milk. We got it though. I'll, I'll name the wyvern Metamoth. Oh yeah. Depends on if it wants cuddle or milk for imprint. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we can get some milk. But, all right, guys. We're going to end this episode here. Um, we made we made some good progress. We got the Thylas done. We went Dunes. We got a Wyvern egg. So, Metamoth's sacrifice was totally worth it. We ended up getting a, a 175 Lightning Wyvern. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But we're gonna end this here. Uh, I'll be back here after I'm done eating with another stream. So hopefully I'll see a bunch of you guys over there. If not, you'll have a great rest of your night. And uh, for everybody else, a I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.